We are back with James Roan with Roan Law answering your personal injury questions. We got a lot of questions coming in. Um, the first one, Mr. Roan, um, how long do you have to file a claim? Well, a typical rule in North Carolina for like a motor vehicle case is three years. So you have three years to file suit following the wreck. You don't want to wait that whole time. You want to right away start taking photographs of the cars, photograph your injuries, photograph the scene, talk to witnesses, and take video clips of dressing changes, physical therapy, and stuff like that. So start working right away. So that's for regular personal injury cases. If you're talking about uh, like a wrongful death case, uh, you've got a year uh, following the death, uh, I'm sorry, two years to file suit. And um, there's some other special statute of limitations regarding particular claims that you would have to call into the office that we could address. But for the personal, the standard personal injury cases that we've been talking about here, um, it's three years following the wreck. A lot of people might be wondering, do I really need a lawyer to go through with all this? Well, the bad news is probably the answer is yes. Um, if you just an offender vendor and you've got, say, less than $5,000 in medical bills, you could handle it yourself. Just get your bills, get your records, and submit it to the insurance company and try to negotiate. If it's bigger than that, you probably should get some help. Lawyers almost always add value to cases and we work on contingency fees. You don't, you don't have to pay any of us by the hour. Uh, we get paid out of the recovery. And we know how to do these things like get the bills, get the records, total wages, and submit a detailed demand package to the insurance company. If they won't settle, we'll file suit for you and go to trial if necessary, or even the Court of Appeals or Supreme Court sometimes. Um, and then after it's, people don't realize how hard it is even after the case is settled. We have to determine what medical providers still have to be repaid and whether or not your health insurance has to be paid back. So if it's over $5,000, I'd suggest that you get some help. Oftentimes we will um, hear of scenarios in Two Wants to Know where um, it is a, a landlord um, tenant dispute where the tenant says that there's mold in the apartment and now their health um, is being affected by that. Would you, would you consider that personal injury? Yes, it is. Now it starts off as a standard contract claim where you have a contract with your landlord. Your landlord, according to the law, is required to keep a safe premises for you to rent, for you to live in. So it's really a contract claim at heart. But if you suffer lung damage, other problems, headaches, I think migraines, other health conditions because of black mold in particular, you may have a personal injury case, but they are not easy. You're gonna need to have a couple of things. You need photographic evidence of the mold. Um, maybe somebody in construction to come out and actually look at the mold to make sure it's the toxic type. And finally, you're gonna need some medical evidence. So your family doctor or someone at the hospital who's willing to testify that you do have black mold and not some other congestive health condition like pneumonia. Um, we have just a little bit left, so I wanna ask a couple of quick questions. One, um, does it help to have a dash cam in your car? It depends. You better not be at fault. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, I, I personally love to have dash cams because again, like I said earlier, I wanna know what the truth is. And if you're at fault, we can't recover, it's just too bad. So I think it's helpful because what happens a lot of times is at the scene, the defendant knows they did wrong. And they may even say it to, to you. Let's say you're in a wreck and the defendant says, I'm so sorry, I just didn't see you. Well, they'll change their tune by the time they talk to insurance companies and insurance lawyers, and suddenly they're denying fault. I see that happen all the time, where initially they'll say it's their fault, but once they start realizing maybe their insurance rates are gonna go up, you'll hear a different story. So a dash cam, I'm seeing more and more of those. I've got them from police cars, even after um, a wreck, you know, the police will come up and I'll have some very good scene footage from dash cams from police cars. I'm seeing a lot of it from cell phones as well. So if you're at the scene, you might want to take some cell phone videos. I think it could be a big help bringing it home to the jury.
All right, Mr. Roan, thank you for the insight. We do appreciate it. If you'd like to watch this over again, you can find the full interview on uh, WFMYNews2.com in the Two Wants to Know section.